Hey everybody, it's Mark again. And because I had to take this uh, movement for this uh, Herbert Her Cuckoo Coil Clock out, I'm going to explain this one last time. There's some people who just don't get it. I got black marks, a permanent marker, on this minute wheel pin and this minute wheel uh, gear that goes through the movement and this minute wheel with minute pinion. And so, first of all, we're going to move this back up. And I want you to watch this lever right here and the minute arm when it trips it trips around 14 minutes past the hour there are minor adjustments that you can make with this thing because it has four pins on it uh, it's just minute adjustments but if I was to take this wheel off, line it up with my permanent markers, bring this back up. Now watch the two again. It's still about 14 minutes past the hour maybe 15 minutes past the hour. But again, it's just minute adjustments that you make on these things. There it's about 13 minutes past the hour. There it's about 12 minutes past the hour. And the reason why it's my new adjustments that you can make, you only have just about 10 gears between these pens. And so you're not going to be able to, uh, you're not going to be able to make it go 10 minutes past the hour and it trips. But it can go, you know, here it's 12 minutes past the hour. And if I was to take this off and adjust it more, there it's about 13 minutes past the hour. There, it's about 15 minutes past the hour. Again, you can make minute adjustments on this minute, on this Herbert Herb movement with this pen right here that has these four pens on it because changing the position of this on this gear, this gear is what controls everything because it's controlled by the main gear. And so if it's too loose, your hands are going to be too loose. And that's why I said that you have to adjust that compression washer that's underneath this wheel. It shouldn't spin like that. The hands will drop 
But this is what controls when the quail will go off. And it's controlled by these four pins, and it's controlled by putting it differently on this minute wheel with minute pinion. Again, it's just minute adjustments is all you can make, but you can get it there. It's not striking on the hour, but you can get it to where it moves to where it strikes exactly on the hour. by changing the position of this on this wheel. I hope that video helps. God bless.